The next question is the annotate picture question. Here you give students an image with some indicated fields. Students have to fill out those fields. This is my question. Name all the animals. Uh, I'm going to add a background picture of an image with different kinds of animals. And then I'm going to add some fields so students know where they have to fill out the right name of the animal. Select image. You can choose an image from your computer. You can choose one from the Google Drive or you can find one online. The online image uh, library is connected to the Pixabay image library. So you can search images that you can use freely on Pixabay. I just have one stored on my computer. So I choose this image right here. So I just added the background image. Now I'm going to add input fields so my students can type on that image. I click here. I'm going to give the correct answer first. Um, so the computer also knows that this is the right answer and this answer can be automatically created by book widgets. Lion. Then I'm going to choose a position of the field on the image. You can just drag and drop the field right here. Normally it has this point, so you can make an arrow out of it. But in this case, I'm just going to add the field below the animal. So I'm going to disable the marker. When I'm done, I just click on done and I'm adding another field. Just click on add input field. Like this kangaroo. Notice that when I add all those input fields, you we can see that the others disappear. It doesn't really matter because in the end they all come together on this image. Of course, it's a real it's a little bit hard for you to place your Fields, so keep in mind that you already added fields below these animals. If students can answer with two possible answers and you want to grade both correct, you can use two hashtags between the two possible answers. Let's say cat. Let's say that kitten would be also correct. So then book widgets will grade both correct. You can add more if you want. I can go back to the configuration of my question by clicking here. Then I go down and then I can see all my input fields. So on this one image, I have 17 input fields of so 17 things my students have to fill out on the image. And then of course you can choose whether it to be case insensitive or not. In this case, for me, case insens insensitive is good there are some field display options so you can add um, a bigger border around your field and so on then you can add an explanation hint audio and of course the scoring options that are very important here 
choose your scoring weight. Again, here is also a, a score multiplier. So this means when you um, add your fields, students will score one point for each correct field they fill out. Uh, in this case, my question will be on 17 points and I can make it a little bit less by reducing the scoring weight for each single field. This question is very important to take a look at the preview. Is this, and then to check if this is how you want it to be and if all your um, input fields are correctly on your image. So in this case, you can see that my input fields are a little bit large, but um, you can make them a little bit shorter. Then I can go back and make some changes if needed. So you can just click here on the, um, let's say, dock. Then you choose position. And then you can make this a little bit shorter because it's just a short word. So this will do. Click on done and it will be saved. Then you can go to preview again to see how this looks like for your students. So name all the animals and then we can get started. So let's do this. This is a lion. and tiger. I want to show you how this looks like when it's automatically graded. Of course, here again, you can choose your you can choose not to show the answers to your students yet. So they have to submit first and then you can send back the feedback and the grades. Show answers, yes. So you can see that this is automatically graded. So I added panda and it should be a panda bear. Here below, you can see all the answers 